think I'm going to have to turn the captions on. Uh, Inter Central Park is dark. It's winter in December. Love that. Da, 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 the iambic pentameter with the flow back and forth, off on, off on, with what he stresses with a syllable. Right, what have you done to me, bro? <laughs> what? What are you doing to me? Oh my god, there is a unicorn. I'm watching a man dressed as a woman singing to a unicorn. And she's like jumping up and down like a Pikachu right now about the electric thunderbolt shock me. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get free pizza. Meh. Nah. Close enough. What's going on YouTube? It's Noxil, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, today is Friday. The sexy chicken shirt is on. I know, you don't know whether to make love to it or to eat it. Welcome to the religion of the chicken people. Welcome to Noxil's YouTube channel, and we are back with more ERB. You guys know I read the comments, the good, the bad, the ugly, the troll. This is definitely one of the next highest requested ones. I'm talking about artists versus teenage mutant, ninja, turtles, childhood on go. I'm not even going to waste time on introductions today. Actually, I'll do a quick one. If you like what happened in the intro, shout out to the Patreon, exclusive reactions, content on there. If you want to join the family and support the channel directly, I'll put the link to that below. But anyways, anyways, we know what we're here for. ERB. Step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Oh, that is so clever. How did I not realize what they meant by artists? I'm like, who the hell is artists? Is there like a music band or rock group I've never heard of before? But no, literally, the Renaissance artists upon whom the Ninja Turtles were named. Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, oh, 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 it all makes sense now. And what a funky bass, man. I think we're going to have fun with this one. Uh, let's bring it back one more time. Is that, hold up, was that Rhett and Link? And is that the dudes from, what are they called? Bish, bosh, ash, bagosh, smosh. That's it. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donna I love those turtle costumes, too. We've already paused multiple times on this. We pause a lot on this channel. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Hello, and Raphael! We got... Cowabunga do, so let's get it on. Reptiles against the fathers of the Renaissance. We got the last one back, <laughs> What the... I love, like, the phoenix wings as the garments spread out behind him. Cowabunga dude, obviously trolling the Ninja Turtles to start with. Link is on his A game, not wasting any time here. Because the, the Ninja Turtles, even though they're named after Italian painters, take after, like, Hawaiian surfers with how they talk. Dude, cowabunga dude. Cowabunga dude, so let's get it on. Reptiles against the fathers of the Renaissance. Look at that. Look at that just... Man, I wish I had, like, a cloak... Or some type of drapes that I wore that just did that. I'm going to just stop wearing normal t-shirts and jeans. They look so much cooler than me. I love the ladies like to keep it mellow. Is that a reference to like... You know, Leonardo da Vinci, he was one of the greatest minds. I mean, he was the epitome of a Renaissance man. He came up with so many inventions and like his sketchbook of stuff that he invented in his mind that he couldn't convince patrons to take on. I mean, helicopters, aero technology, just so many things. Man was so advanced ahead of his time. Not only did he understand science, he understood human anatomy very well, studied medicine, studied the body, was an amazing artist painter sculptor i mean what couldn't the man do but the mellow lines referring to i guess the style of painting like the mona lisa is very sort of mellowed in terms of the colors and how it's chosen but he's keeping it mellow keeping it chill also a lot of speculation that da vinci was uh indeed gay so maybe like mellow because actually he's he's not on that side even though it seems like he loves the ladies he paints a lot of the ladies and then i mean a lot of these lines honestly are pretty surface level there's not much to break down here you know turning turtles into mincemeat Right? Gonna make some turtle soup out of this. Three toed freaks. Ninja Turtles had three toads. Toads? Toads? 
Hocus Pocus, Knox, get it together today. Okay, dude, so let's get it on. Reptiles against the fathers of the Renaissance. We got the classical technique to kick these three toe freaks back onto the street. Ooh. I take a turtle and a turn them in a mint speed. You don't really want to step to Da Vinci. Mm. I love the ladies, I like to keep it mellow. So let me pass the mic to my man Donatello. Uh, hard shell, but you're gross in the middle. Wouldn't want to touch you with a six foot chisel. Born in. <laughs> hard shell, but you're gross in the middle. It's all gooey and icky. You don't want none of that turtle suit, man. Some people. From the east, like it, but. Mm. Man Donatello, uh, hard shell, but you're gross in the middle. I love how he passed it to his man Donatello, and that is literally his homeboy Link patting it over to Rhett. Wouldn't want to touch you with a six foot chisel. Born in goop, raised in poop. I slice through a root, but then just like fruit. Oh, <laughs> I like that rhyme scheme. Born in goop, born in like the whatever, the primordial goop that gave birth to the Ninja Turtles and raised in poop because they literally lived in the sewers and, you know sewage and waste gets flushed down into the source but hey that's where they lived and ate pizza and it was awesome wouldn't touch you with a six foot chisel because donatello was known to be a very good sculptor man was a beast probably the lesser known of the uh the renaissance artists and the famous four names that the turtles were named after but i love how he's playing off of the chisel since he's sculpting but he wouldn't touch you because you're all icky and gooey yeah. The six foot chisel, born in goop, raised in poop. I slice through a root of men just like fruit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love that internal reams. rhyme scheme, man. Deem dope by the Pope and a bone till I croak. Oh, did it do, did it do, did it do. Nice flow, man. Raphael was commissioned by the Pope. Raphael also doesn't get as much love as some of the other ones. Raphael's got a cool story, though, because, well, he died early. In his 30s, and they say that he died from overpassionate sexual intercourse. That's right, he literally died from boning. I'm telling you, if I'm going out, that's the way I want to go out, people. Raphael was a G. And yeah, a lot of his works and paintings can be found in the Vatican because the Pope commissioned him. Wouldn't want to touch you with a six foot chisel. Born in goop, raised in poop. I slice through a root of men just like fruit. I like this. What? This feels like Beastie Boys, like the way that they're holding stuff out and the sort of aggressive flow and delivery. It sounds like there's a little bit of a megaphony effect on the mix, too. Get the fillet up to the ceiling. See how he holds it out. And then obviously he's an MC shredder. He's shredding the microphone. But shout out to the arch nemesis of the Ninja Turtles. I'm talking about shredder. And then what better way than to pass up to Michelangelo on the ceiling because... What is Michelangelo's? One of his most famous works. We're talking about the Sistine Chapel that he painted. Did he just have his own Goliath reference too? I think he did. I made David, the story of David and Goliath. David defeats Goliath with the slingshot, as we know, but also the eight-foot-tall statue that I have actually been to Florence and have seen myself. That's right. Knox, Knox is a little bit cultured. I was doing a preseason trip for soccer in Italy one time. Yeah, I saw David. I saw his very large PP as well. I mean, the man was, was well sculpted. Michelangelo paid a lot of attention to the did I tell you, a lot of the artists at that time did. But yeah, David. So not only was he a great painter, he was also a really good sculptor as well. Oh, great reference to another one of Michelangelo's famous works, The Last Judgment. Book of Revelations, the final judgment of God, the end of times that Michelangelo painted on the wall of the Sistine Chapel. Let's get it. Oh, and then the rap god. Shout out to Eminem's rap god. He is also a rap god. He painted a lot of God and biblical imagery. Yeah, science, mathematics, art, poetry. Just that is the epitome of the Renaissance man, isn't it? Being multi-talented and multifaceted. Knox fashions himself. Wow, I'm talking about me in the third person. I should, yeah. No, don't even finish that. But I, I've always seen myself as a bit of a renaissance man. You know, I got to be a professional athlete for a while. I've always been interested in science, literature, philosophy. I like to draw. I make music. I create. So 
But yeah, I'm nowhere near the level of these guys. Trust me. We drop science. We got the mathematics. The architects of rebirth are mathematics. You reach the foot, but it won't go low. Well. When you catch an Italian boot to the half shell. Haha, <laughs> did you hear that? I like how they did that. Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. Mmm, I love how they played off of the melody, but in this time, you know, catch a boot. Playing off of the boot of Italy. If you look at a map of Italy, it is shaped geographically like a boot they're gonna catch a boot to the shell and then playing off of the turtles in a half shell that was nice you the foot, but it won't. and then playing oh my god i didn't even catch the foot because the foot again shredder led the foot the foot was again the group of ninjas that the turtles would always beat the arch nemesis of the teenage mutant ninja turtles but also playing off of the foot into the boots why am i talking like i'm canadian now Mm. We drop science. We got the mathematics. The architects of rebirth are mathematics. You beat the foot, but it won't go low. Well. When you catch an Italian boot to the half shell. The wisdom of our master Speaker. taught us not to rush to violence. Speaker. But our master ain't here. Yeah. I don't think you wanna... <laughs> that was cool. This is just a fun battle, man. I really like the vibe of this, and I like like the monk like chanting splinter. Hum, and they're all just sat there meditating, contemplating how they shouldn't rush to violence. And yet Michelangelo, who is always the more rebellious of them, points out, bro, Splinter isn't here. Let's get it on. Rush to violence, but our master, master ain't here. Yeah, I don't think you want to mess with my guitar. Again, this drum line and percussion, man, I love the way it runs in it. Just the funk to all this. But notice how everything just drops down right there while they're doing the hum. And it's just kind of pounding. Right, getting ready to get the glow sticks out to just face paint ourselves and start jumping up and down. Then all of a sudden, wham! That percussion comes back in, and it's all time for ecstasy and everything else. I'm just kidding. But our master, Oh, right, right, right. So they're going to have each one of them address their counterpart. So in this case, Leonardo addresses Leonardo da Vinci. Get back in your floppy helicopter. We talked about Leonardo da Vinci's just multitude of inventions and sketches that he did. And yeah, he did essentially invent and conceptualize the first helicopter. Never came to physical form. So in this case, it flopped because nothing actually ever came about it. And it also looked kind of weird and floppy. I, I don't think you want to mess up. Bebop and rock steady? <laughs> that word play was amazing. I can bebop. Sounds kind of like beatbox, but like he's beatbopping on this beat. And then steady rock, rocking the mic. But obviously, as we pointed out, it plays off of two other turtle villains. Bebop and rock steady. I'm a pristine Ah, oh, pristine Sistine nunchucker. We had to get a Sistine Chapel reference in there as well. And Michelangelo's favorite weapon was the nunchucks. Leonardo also references katana blades. So they're referencing their weapons of choice too. <laughs> Put you back in school with the tip of my two side. Again, the side was Raphael's choice. Who's your favorite? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle character, comment down below. For me, Michelangelo. Michael, I love Michelangelo. I'm sure there's a lot of Leonardo's. There's a lot of Raphael's. Donatello doesn't normally get as much love, does he? And again, something I want to talk about, the mixing. There's like this slight megaphony effect. Like they're really like yelling into the mic, like aggressive with the delivery. Again, that sort of Beastie Boys type of feel is making me think of. Nice. Oh, Donna, tell me who you are again, dude. He's playing off his name, Donatello, because again, Donatello is not so well known for the artist and got a got a melada. That was um that was one of Donatello's famous statues that he sculpted. <laughs> How do you take got him a lot of making? I don't I don't really got a clue. I don't got him a lot of <laughs> You know we like puns around here. I mean, come on. You subscribe for all these free fake giveaways. You know we like to be punny. Put your back in school with the tip of my two side. Oh no. Sorry guys, recording software cut out on me. I'm not sure where exactly it cut out, so I'm just gonna rewind it a little bit. And then we'll jump back into it and pretend like we know what we're doing and it's not just a giant shit show on this channel, which it is. Why are you subscribed again? Just kidding, I love you. 
Let's keep it going. Cool, but won't guy. Put your back in school with the tip of my two side. Uh, Doctor, tell me who you are again, dude. Because I don't got him a lot of clue what you do. That's because you mutants are too immature. You wouldn't know genius if I'm pissing your soul. Because the town and the mind is right so sweet. We're like your NES game. Because we can't be beat. You go ahead. Oh, oh. The NES game was super, super hard. Wasn't there like a glitch in it that made it unbeatable at one point in time? I thought that the Super, the all right, so the NES game was hard. I thought the Super NES game was super hard too. The Turtles in Time that I played, or maybe I was just, you know, riding the short bus as a child. I don't know. I could have been. I wasn't that great at it. I did die a lot in that game. It was a fun game though. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Time. Turtles Back in Time. I can't remember the exact name. If you played that as well and you want to join in nostalgia with me, let me know below. That I am not alone. I like I like how throughout this battle, it's the chemistry and it's the back and forth, just like passing the mic, drop a line, pass the mic, drop a line. Just the yeah, the the back and forth nature of this just makes it fun, man. And you wouldn't know genius if it pissed in your sewer. You wouldn't know genius if it hits you in the head. Blah blah blah. Just the different ways of saying that and phrasing that. But in this case, pissing in your sewer because piss will always run into the sewers because that is the nature of sewage and where it goes also dissing them because they still live in sewers you wouldn't know genius if a piss in your sewer because it's hell and the mind is right so sweet we're like your NES game cause we can't be beat you'll go ahead and hate we just skate on by you guys draw more dicks than New York Pride <laughs> draw more dicks get it like drawing in then the New York Gay Pride Parade, because obviously there's going to be a lot of dicks there at the Gay Pride Parade, but literally drawing a dick. And we talked about the infatuation with the dicks, like on the Michelangelo statue. Leonardo had his famous anatomy of a, of a male, and then the focus on the PP region. They all did. It was just, it was a thing at the time. It's fine. Okay, just let it go. Go ahead and hate, we just skate on by. You guys draw more dicks than New York Pride. Team, 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 team Famous sayings is always save a slice for me, but also the leaning tower of Pisa, another place that Knox has been, you uncultured swine. That was fun. And I love the little go, 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 just hyping it up in the back of the mix. And then they flipped it, Italy being shaped like a boot as well, because they're now drop kicking Italy. Mm. I love this beat. That was just fun. Who do I think won that? I don't know. That was a really good one. I mean, there wasn't any like disses that just hurt your soul and entire being, you know, like we've seen some of these disrespectful ERBs. This is more just like lighthearted and fun. But I like that. I like the change up, just the change of pace and the energy and the vibe from it all. I think ultimately it's the listener who won. But that is definitely a cop out. I'm going to have to pick a winner, aren't I? Ah, come on, childhood. I'm going to give it to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But anyways, ERB, you were not so certified. So if you guys like today's video, if you did, be sure to smash that like. Yeah, I'm tired. I've struggled to talk and say a lot of words today. I know that. So for whatever reason, you're still here at the end of this video, then wow, you really are enjoying my content. Subscribe and notifications on. I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay positive. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you again soon. I'm out.